ginger beer roasted pork. Tender and flavorful meat that makes use of leftover soda to make perfect golden edges and a rich sauce that will knock your socks off. It's perfectly tender, perfectly flavored, and all around amazing. Hey friends, I've got a great recipe for you today. In a previous video, I did a taste test of all the different kinds of ginger beer that I could get my hands on, and then afterwards I tried to come up with some recipes that I could use to cook the leftover ginger beer. And today I'm going to be making a ginger beer slow roasted pork shoulder. I'm going to do the whole thing in the oven. It's very simple. I'm just going to put it in the oven and let time do its thing until it's very rich and flavorful and tender. I think you're really going to like this one. Let's check it out. Begin by preheating the oven to 300 degrees. Then get yourself a large roasting pan. Peel and slice two large onions and add them to the pan. It doesn't really matter how your veggies are sliced because they will eventually be turned into a sauce. Then slice two large or three medium bell peppers. They can be any color you have as long as they are the sweet variety. Add these to the pan and give it a mix to help separate the layers of the onions. Next, we will add our seasonings. I'm using two whole dried ancho chili peppers, two bay leaves, one cinnamon stick, one teaspoon each of salt, whole cumin seeds, whole fennel seeds, whole black peppercorns, whole allspice berries, and then two whole green cardamom pods. Now for the pork. I've got an eight pound bone-in shoulder roast. It's the kind without the thick exterior skin. I'll place this fat side up on top of the veggies then pour over three bottles or cans of leftover ginger beer. I'm basting the meat with the liquid rather than pouring it directly into the pan. Next, we will cover up the pan tightly with aluminum foil. and then pop it into the preheated oven for between six to seven hours. I happen to start this recipe late at night, so I'm going off to bed and I'll come back to it in the morning. It's the next day and I've taken the pan out of the oven and allowed it to rest for 30 minutes. This will allow the meat to settle and retain its juiciness. Now let's take a peek and see how we did. Oh yeah, the meat is beautifully browned with a nice crispy edge. Our veggies are a bit overdone, but nothing to worry about. The meat is at that perfect balance where it is fork tender, but still retains a decent amount of chew. you can see the shoulder bone just slips right out, letting you know it's well cooked. Carefully transfer the meat into a second tray, and then I'm gonna try and remove any excess fat sitting in the pan. You can see quite a lot came out. Now the veggies are a bit dried out, so I'm going to have to rehydrate them again. First, I want to remove any hard bits such as the bay leaves, cinnamon stick, and the woody stems from the chilies. Then I need to add some more liquid, so I opt for another ginger beer, of course. I place the pan over a medium heat on the stove and stir to loosen up all the cooked bits as the liquid heats. Once everything is loosened up, I transfer it to my food processor and blend it into a smooth puree.
The smell of this is absolutely fantastic. And the consistency looks great too. But how did we do on the taste? It's amazing! I can't believe how good this is. It has the look of a barbecue sauce, but it's deeply rich with smoky and tangy notes. The ginger flavor is actually very mellow. Now I'm going to break up the meat into small chunks. I don't want to make it super shredded because I can always pull it apart further later on. Then I'll add some of the sauce and mix it in. You can taste and adjust the amount, whether you like it very saucy or more on the dry side with the sauce served as an accompaniment. It is ridiculous how good this smells right now. Your roasted pork is now ready to be served. You can use it any way you like, whether it's topped over rice, piled up on a sandwich, rolled up in a taco, or anything else you can think of. So my second ginger beer recipe turned out great. You can check out the links to my other ginger beer related videos in the description box below and definitely give this recipe a try. As always, thanks for watching and share this video with your friends.